Welcome. I'm Gary Parr, Editorial Director, Efficient Plant Magazine, and I'm here with Jason Crane. Hi, Jason. How you doing? Oh, going to be all right, I think. Going to be all right. Jason Crane is going to be is the Business Development Manager, Heavy Duty Fabricated for Motion Industries Conveyance Solutions Group. Uh, Jason, it. yep. Jason's been in the industry of conveyor belt systems for 24 years. You must like your belts. Yep, uh, they got me young and have stuck with it. <laughs> All right. Uh, started in the field of installs and teardowns, then uh, moved to custom fabricated operations and sourcing. And today, Jason helps customers find solutions to their needs and problems by traveling around and staring at conveyor systems. So, what are we talking about today, Jason? We've got a new product here we get to talk about. Uh, today, we're talking about the Apache Power Cleat. This is a new designed uh, conveyor belt, a slittable conveyor belt that uh, uh, helps increase carrying capacity up steeper inclines. So com compared to the conventional V cleat, uh, where you have a quarter inch chevron uh, style cleat across the belt, this is a, a crescent shape. Uh, this shape actually helps uh, with the dis dislodging discharge uh, around the head pulley. Um, and we went with this shape to to efficiently dislodge all the all the material so you don't have that carry back on the other side. Um, and it's a slittable product, just like that Chevron, but we also have a half inch tall cleat versus the quarter inch tall cleat. So that'll increase carrying capacity up steeper inclines. All right, so so the the problem problem, the issue at times with conventional is that little crotch of the V is so sharp and narrow that things build up in there and get carried back, uh, stick, whatever. And so this, this by having a crescent, you know, I'm, I'm drawing the crescent there, <laughs> by having a crescent shape, then we eliminate that little, that little catch area. Exactly. So like you said, that, that crotch, that V shape, right at the bottom there, um, it has an, a tendency to build up material. Uh, once it starts, you get more and more material. Uh, and instead of uh, discharging it, dislodging it as it goes around the head pulley, it'll carry the material around to the underside. And then those vibrations will eventually knock that material loose, uh, creating a pile underneath your conveyor. So now you're increasing your man hours just to clean that up. Uh, what this is, is that that crescent shape kind of spreads out as it's going across and ejects the material um, as it goes across the head pulley, uh, keeping it uh, cleaner. Uh, so when it comes around on the bottom side, it doesn't carry as much material down. So you you limit your man hours All on right. that clean. I see a, a sample behind us there. Let's take a look at that thing. Well, I've got an extra one right here. Well, look at you so, right there. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see, it's that, that crescent shape. Mm -hmm. uh, so it as it wraps around that pulley, it'll flex. And there's not that crotch right here that'll catch that material. So. What it'll do is it'll, as it goes around, it dislodges it from the belt and then it uh, will fall off the end of the, the head pulley. So, and we went with a half inch thick cleat here. So it's a little bit taller. So what that does is it gives us increased carrying capacity up steeper inclines. Um, and uh, it's just been a, an all around great new belt. Now, one of the things that is, is mentioned is that the, uh, there's less uh, noise and chatter on the return. Is that a function of the chevrons or is that a function of the belt itself? So it's a combination of both uh, uh, the strength of the belt and then the overlapping of the of the chevrons, the overlapping of the crescents. So they're they're nested, as you can see, uh, they're nested. So when this is when the roller on the return would be falling off of this, it's it's picking itself back up on this next cleat and then back and forth. So these are these are the same way all the way across the belt which makes it a little bit smoother so it doesn't have that that aggressive point that you would potentially have on that chevron where they're they're like this and not there's a bigger gap so these this this gap right here allows it to uh stay even with the the return pulley as uh, causing a smoother transition a smoother return okay and then as far as the rest of the belt, uh, we have standard uh, thicknesses and widths of slittable things, so we can make it whatever width we need. Uh, all of that. Are there any other features we should know about with the belt construction itself? Well, just like uh, your standard conveyor belts, you can get this in a cover cover 
which this is a cover, both sides, cover, cover. Uh, you can get a cover by bear if you need it into a, uh, in a slider bed application. Um, you can get it in two, three ply is what we, we stock, but we can also get uh, in, in any ply configuration that is currently out there. In addition to that, there's all the different uh, rubber compounds that you can get, uh, MOR, grade two, grade one, uh, even a nitrile or SOR. So anything that you can uh, buy now in a standard belt, you pretty much put this pattern on uh, as well. All right, now talk to me about applications. Where, where, where do we find this particularly advantageous? Well, we've actually seen this in, in almost all applications. We've had it in aggregate mining and, and we've had it in grain, recycling, uh, you know, garbage, uh, waste management. Um, we're seeing this a lot in, in, you know, recycle facilities and, you know, garbage facilities where uh, these facilities are built in a confined space and they need that, that uh, lift. They need to have a steeper incline on their conveyor so uh, they can take advantage of this. Uh, this belt versus their standard V cleat uh, in, an, in a breakdown or something where, where custom belts take a little bit longer to make. This is something that will fit in and we're actually seeing them go to this belt rather than going to the custom fab because it's so easy to get and it's carrying that capacity up those inclines. So anywhere, anywhere there is a, a steep incline where you're trying to carry material up an incline, um, but not just don't have the time to wait for a custom fab fabricated belt that may take weeks. Uh, this can be done and cut in a day and shipped out to the customer and installed. Okay, and I'm sure in, in garbage and recycling where you have such a wide range of sizes of your material, and I'm sure a lot of it is wet, damp, that they're probably a huge payoff with that with that uh, chevron design. Yes, exactly. We've seen that the the, the fines on the returns are, are much less in, in many of the applications because of, of, of this design versus that standard weekly. Yeah. All right, Jason, thank you. Uh, for those who want more information, right there at the bottom of the screen is the URL. And I will note for you that uh, uh, case sensitive on the Apache Power Cleat belt uh, to get to the right page. Uh, that or call the uh, number below and you'll get some help and maybe find yourself a belt you like. Jason, thank you. Enjoyed it. Thanks, Gary.